Morrow, we travelled to the Bet365 Stadium to take on Stoke this weekend. What kind of tests do you expect from them? Well, they're a hard-working team. They're very organised, they've got good, good shape about them. They haven't conceded too many goals um, and they've got good attacking threats. Fletcher coming back fit for them is a real focal point in their attack. So we'll have to watch him for, from crosses, which they like to do. Um, we all know what happened last time we faced Stoke, but based off recent performances, you must be more than confident we can get that another slice of payback. Yeah, I think there's um, some good morale. We've had some really good results. Everybody seems in a really good place, confidence-wise, and we want to take that into the game and, and try and get the three points and build on what was a terrific performance last week. Yeah, and you touched on the terrific performance last week. I'm sure everyone's still buzzing heading into training this week. What has the manager been keen to get across to you ahead of Stoke? Well, we always talk about it being one game at a time, and it was brilliant to, to win that game and play so well, but it's about backing that up now with a, a good performance and, and three points at the weekend. Um, and you've been the leader of quite a young defence over the past few games. How have you found that working alongside uh, you know, the likes of Tom, Tom and Omar? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're great lads. They really want to listen and took everything on board, and it's a real credit to the academy to have you know, not only them three players in, in the team, but the other lads as well that have come through the youth system. And it can be difficult for, for young defenders and they've performed consistently well and, and done tremendous. So, you know, hopefully they can continue that form and be a real pivot for, uh, real pivotal as we close into the, the last few games. I know it's something you've done at previous clubs, but you've stepped into the captaincy recently as well. How have you found that and leading the team out? Yeah, I think everyone's looking forward to having Liam back. Um, you know, it's been... A, Unfortunate time for him with his injuries. I've really enjoyed it leading the team, and, and that's been, you know, something that I'm proud of. And I hope that I've done a good job and, and led by example. So I'm looking forward to doing that and continue doing that. And three points on Saturday would see us go seven games unbeaten. Um, what do you think the key is to this really rip strong recent run? I think we've evolved a bit. Um, John Swift coming into the team has really helped. You know, he's a great footballer, can create chances and score goals as well. And Lucas is back fit and Yeardom's back fit. And I think training is really pushing everybody to, to be at their absolute maximum. And they know if they want to stay in the team that they've got to keep performing. And, and results are, have dictated what we've done on the training pitch as well. And you touched on working to the absolute maximum. Pano always wants more from you, even when things are going really well. Do you think, is that something you're trying to put across on the pitch as a captain as well? Is that something he asks from you? Yeah, we know where we are in the league and we want to push higher than that. Obviously, being in the playoffs and being in that is sort of base camp where we want to stay. And, and then it's from there trying to push on and, and look for them at automatic promotion places. And obviously, we've got a big game next week. We've got this one coming up. And then the Brentford one will, will be a difficult game. So if we can go into that still positive off of three points away at a difficult place, you know, we'll feel really good about ourselves.